from Minute Maid Park in Houston. Two of the best teams in the game square off. It's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the Houston Astros. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chumby. Now, both sides, this game really matters as the postseason is approaching. Well, at this point of the year, guys are a little bit tired, but you've got to find a way to dig deeper and bring out your best with so much opportunity to be able to punch your ticket for October. Just about set to go. Our starting pitcher in this one, J.P. France. But, Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to yeah. start that in this one. Gunnar Henderson stands in now and watches strike one. First pitch, 7-10. And that's down and away. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it and... There's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Adley Rutschman. First offering, and it just misses. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. And yeah, the right-hander deals. And that misses oh. off the outside edge. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, yeah. I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Rudder at first with no outs here. And that is in for a strike. Two and two, two now. Two. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Anthony Santander at the plate. Come on, let's get the Singy, maybe some wow. nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. The 1 0. One and one. That looked like a case of deciding to swing no matter what. That pitch was way up. Nice job of the pitcher knowing that this hitter's looking for something up that he can drive, but he just expanded the zone to his advantage. And yeah, that's outside. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The 2-1. That's a little bit low. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Ryan O'Hearn in the on-deck circle. Now this is in the air down the line. McCormick has it sized up. Makes the catch. And there's one away. Oh, he throws it away. That is good. The first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. Two on, one out. And here's the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Runner! Double steal. And first offering is fouled off.
The other way. Nice grab. Wow, that was an awesome leaping catch. Great reactions, great athleticism, and he snatched that thing out of the air, and he robbed him of a base hit. So first and second with two outs. Now the left fielder, Austin Hayes. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Ground ball right side, and it's just foul. That was close. Oh, and two now. Struck him out looking. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get him home. Now here come the Astros. No score. here in Houston and on the mound in this one Grayson Rodriguez and Chris pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him yeah and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road sometimes you, you know it's Astros. just a matter of luck it's not it's having like a feel field. difference Push between there. the bullpen mound to the oh, mound there. out there on the playing field don't know what it is but I know this He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Righty delivers. So two balls and no strikes. Upstairs. In for a strike, now three and one. Take it all the way on 3-0 right there. And as a hitter, you're saying, why couldn't I get that pitch earlier in the count when I'm looking to swing? Ripped on a line. Hicks makes the grab, one down. Batting second, the third baseman, Alex Bregman. Here's Alex Bregman. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Late that time, and it's no strike ball. two. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. One down, base is empty. Ball, that's outside. Ground ball up the middle. On to O'Hearn. And they get Bregman for the out. Talk about being able to dial up the velocity. That first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first baseman's mitt. Here's Jordan Alvarez. This guy has turned into a beast. First pitch doesn't find the zone. 1-0. Swung on, popped up left side. Urias moving under it. He makes the grab, and that is that. Astros go down one, two, three. We played an inning, no score. Top of the second, and here's the veteran outfielder, Aaron Hicks. Number 34, Aaron Hicks. The wind and the pitch. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Andy 2 And there's a ball. ball. 
And another oh. ball. Two balls, two strikes. Next offering is foul back. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Rip towards third. One out in second. Batting second. The center fielder. Cedric Mullins. And next for the Orioles, Cedric Mullins. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Second inning here, no score. Well struck left field. McCormick raging back towards the wall. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. Showed off some really nice oppo pop with that swing. And just couldn't get it over the fence. But I absolutely love everything about that approach and the mechanics right there. Gunner in scoring position now. And a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Ramon Urias digs in now. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. And a curve misses outside. The 1-0. -oh. In the air, foul off first. And makes the grab. Two down. Here's Adam Frazier. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Strike two. Oh, and two. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Whoa. Misses. Nope. Oh. It's a ball and two strikes. It's a good take. This one lifted in the air, left field, and that'll fall for a base hit. Run scores easily, and the Orioles strike first. It's 1-0. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Takes an inside pitch and just fillets it over there to left field, and that's all he had to do is get up to the outfield grass to push that run across. Here's the Orioles' leadoff hitter, Gunnar Henderson. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. And that one just oh, misses a ball and no strikes. Right-hander kicks deals. And there's a strike on the outside corner. And a swing and a miss there. One and two is the count. Hit hard on the ground is short. They get yes. the force, and the inning is over. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a one-nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Bottom of the second. Now it's the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. The right fielder, Kyle Tucker. The wide to kick the pitch. 
that one in triple digits. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Freddie Ferguson doing the umpiring duties behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Freddie's a well-respected umpire, Boog. Maybe a little bit more of a pitcher's umpire. He does like the pitch down just below the knees or right about there, but most hitters are pretty good at covering that spot these days. Caught him looking for the K. Oh, that was a pretty poor at bat. He just never got the bat off the shoulder. I mean, you got to go up there looking to swing at some point, especially once you're down 0-2. And at that point, make an adjustment, look to put the ball in play if it's anywhere close. And I'm just not sure what the plan was there. Jose Abreu up to hit. First offering oh. misses the mark. The pitch. Down to ball here, rolls foul. The wind of the pitch. So now one and two. One ball, two strikes. The wind of the pitch. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Well, one of the things that hitters that will do good. is they'll look for that red dot here. on the baseball as it's coming in to let them know what the pitch is. And if they see the red dot, it's typically a slider. But when a guy's got a really tight one with high spin rates, very difficult to determine. And that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there. Just a nasty pitch. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Mullins makes the catch and that is that Astros are down quietly they trail here one nothing out of the third inning now the Orioles catcher Adley Rutschman Adley Rutschman here comes a pitch and strike one to the catcher That one fouled off. And a pitch. Got him swinging. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Santander batting with one down takes a strike. That one misses. That miss. That's a ball. One ball, one strike. One and one. You now with the shift on, hits right into it. Over to Abreu. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Two outs, base is empty. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. 0 for 1 so far. There's a strike. Ball one there. Two outs. And that one missing low. And a pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Riding to the plate. Out to short, Pena. Sends it across the first, and the Orioles set down in order. One, two, three, go the Orioles. But they still lead it, one nothing.
back here at Minute Maid Park. Go. Set for the bottom of the third. And here's the rookie the catcher, Gaynor Diaz. Diaz. The right-hander back to work. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Now, biggest concern other than injury after a moment like that is just how the pitcher will spell. You know, sometimes a guy lose confidence in a pitch when he's hit somebody. Jeremy Pena, the next to hit, takes outside. Next offering is in for a strike. Nobody out, runner at first. The 1-1 one -one is upstairs, and it's 2-1. pitch swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended tie them up a little bit slightly up slightly in softly hit the third Urias over to second throw to first but he beat it batting nine the seven fielder here's Mauricio Dubon Good contact guy, good defender. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Just no, off the outside the edge. Yeah, that's ball one. Dubon patrolling center field, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he was born in Honduras. Hey, doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a little differently here. Next pitch is that's outside. Ball. Yeah, that's ball two. Swing and a ball popped up. And it stays fair. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one out single. Back to the top of the lineup. Jose Altuve up to it here. He's over one. And takes low for ball one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. There's a strike. Runners are at the corners, one away. Yeah, down two balls and a strike. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. That one in for a strike, two and two. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strikeout. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Strike three, got him swinging. Huge strikeout there. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. That helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. pitch check swing he held up and now two and oh that's through there for a strike in today's game not that many fastball counts but hitters still in the back of their minds they're looking for one two will change up call right there excellent pitch selection to go with and a two one on the way 
That's towards center. Mullins on his horse. Reaching for it. Makes the catch. Two left for the Astros. And it remains 1-0. here in Houston start of the fourth and now it's Austin Hayes France back to work and that one off the outside edge you know these Orioles showing great discipline at the plate and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one he's only given up one run but the starters pitch count is starting to get up there and that might be the best news yet for this offense 2-0 that one ripped left field. And out of here. Home run number 15 on the year. And they tack one on the board. It's 2-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. So, Singy, this is a little bit of a surprise. A guy known for line drives hits one over the fence. Well, if you're a little too early, you'll get some elevation in the ball, get out of the ballpark. For him, it's kind of a mistake. But you know what? When you have such a good approach, every now and then you're going to run into one. Taron Hicks now. That one pulled foul. And downstairs. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. And the righty deals. Looked like it was a little bit up. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. Liner caught it second. Yikes, that ball was scorched. An absolute missile, and it almost becomes self-defense as the fielder. When one of those things comes screaming towards you, watch your lips. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit. One for one with a double and a run score. Good eye right there. Next offering is in for a strike. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. And that one in the air center field. Pulls it in on the run. And there's two down. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Urias stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. One ball, one strike. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Now back. Just kept Second it simple, base. played Pepper Adam. with the middle of the infield and Lincoln. took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Now it's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Pitch misses nope. inside, 1-0. Oh. and oh. At 
at the belt and fires. And now two and nothing. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. That one missed, no, now that three missed and oh. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. So now two ball on four, and two outs. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning the alive, man, puts a runner two. into scoring position, and a chance for Gunner. this offense to add on to their Gunner. lead. And into the box for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson, one for two. in there for strike one action in the pen down there Jose Urquidy up and throwing Sousa a left-hander also throwing right through there for a strike he must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early it was right down Main Street probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat Next one just misses. Now one and two. Rip to short. They take the force out. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run, and it's two zip. Major League Baseball is on the show. And welcome back. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, your Don Alvarez. Alvarez. And he deals. Ripped, but it curls foul. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. Back up the, oh, that got him. Now the throw to first on the run, but he beats it out. And the leadoff man is on with an infield single. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. Here's Kyle Tucker. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Ball one, no oh. strikes. a little bit high. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Takes it in for the out. Takes it to the bag himself and doubles him off. Man, those are tough ones all the way around. As a hitter, you feel you did everything right and kind of got robbed. As a runner, you're in a really tough position trying to read the ball and get back. And as the first baseman, it's a split-second reaction to catch the line drive as you're coming off the bag. But he did a great job of having the awareness to know he could get two outs, not just the one. Kicks and deals. That's a slider for a strike. No ball. Two strikes. The next pitch misses. Now one and two. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, to look for something down in the zone, two but not two. too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. 2-2 two, two down. Hey. He goes down looking. here at the ballpark ready now for the fifth inning and the batter now Adley Rutschman the pitch that's in for a strike 
You know, these Orioles doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. Next offering in the dirt, and yeah, the count one and two. Line drive and a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Now batting, designated hitter, Anthony. Anthony Santander, the next to hit for the Orioles. First pitch, wow. not close. That's hard hit in the line. Duval makes the catch, and there's one gone. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. So now it's the full hole hitter, Ryan O'Hearn. First pitch no, just is. misses. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Fastball at the letters, throws him for strike three. So two down now, and here is Austin Hayes. He's already homered in this game. They say you win. Going one. Kicks and fires. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Makes the grab on the run. And that ends the inning. And the Orioles leave one as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Welcome back. We head to the Lead bottom off. of the fifth. The Here's the left fielder, Chaz left McCormick. Fielder. Chaz McCormick. The pitch. Yeah. strike right there. Well, these Astros just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough. And that should be extra bases. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap, and when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Gainer Diaz up next for the Astros. That's a strike. It's 0-1. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. Little base head here, that's all. That one laced to center and a base hit. McCormick rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score, and it's a one-run game. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. So digging in, Jeremy Pena. 0 for 1, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. That misses the zone. And that is ball one.
and the 1-0. Nope. to lay off that pitch down. The next offering misses. And that's ball three. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. 3 0 down. On this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Oh, now he's got two runners on after that walk, and things he can get out of hand in a hurry in these situations, so he's going to have to find a way to get back into the strike zone. And next to hit for Houston, Mauricio Dubon. And he's already singled in this game. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. You know, he'll act like he really wanted to hit, but he's as happy as anyone that he got hit by that pitch just to turn this lineup over back to the top. Altuve in the box now. Take strike one. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But as a hitter, can't be over anxious. That pitcher's up against the wall. Make him come to you. Next pitch misses, oh, and it's one and one. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can bat. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Out of here, Grand Slam! His 18th home run of the season, and they lead it. It's 5-2. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. Alex Bregman and fouled off but you know it's tough to bounce back on the mound after giving up a granny especially when you still have three outs to get somehow he's got to shake it off he's got to just hit the reset button and try to get one batter at a time one out at a time Next offering down in the dirt. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. The wide, the kick, and the one-two. Off the Ball outside outside. edge, and now the count is two and two. Next one misses, and the count is filled up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Right, on the ground, right side. Frazier on the first, in time. Finally gets the first out here on the grounder. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. In there, and it's on one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then. If this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. Oh. Because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, one, one. he's a threat deep into the count as well. That's inside. Oh. Two, one. 
Swing and a miss. Blew it by him at 99. That was straight queso right there. Goes down looking. The right fielder, number 30. Two outs, base is empty. Kyle Tucker now at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. Over to first. It's there, and that's a great play. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. Back here in Houston. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And into the box for Baltimore, Aaron Hicks. France, back to work. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hater deals. That misses. One and one. Activity in the bullpen for Houston. Hector Neris is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Abreu getting loose as well. The wind and the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Another one, two. And a ball oh, evens the I count. Swings and misses. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. Now Cedric Mullins will hit next. Cedric Mullins. And the first pitch misses for ball one. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. Two balls, no strikes. Left-hand batter waits. Foul ball. Two and two. Rip to right, base hit. Now batting, third base, Ramon Urias. So next to hit for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. France picks over, okay. and he's back in there. Urias measures 5 feet 10 inches, 28 years old, and he won a gold glove last season. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. Righty delivers. Two balls, oh. no strikes, the count. Well, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. The 2-0 is in for a strike. And here it comes. Next offering is outside. Wait. 
And a liner out into right center for a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfect. Now let's see if they can string something together. Make it a little more interesting. Jose Urquid gets handed the rock out of the pen. And he's got a big time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have any chance. And next for the Orioles, Adam Frazier. And he grounds one to the right side. And it gets by him around third. And it's now a two-run game. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. Here's the Orioles' leadoff hitter, Gunnar Henderson. One for three. First pitch, and he just misses. And it's fouled away. First and third, one down. Slow roller up the middle. Pena flips it behind his back. Over to Altuve. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning, ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. Adley Rutschman digs in now. That pitch gets the inside corner. Strike one. Go with the tie and run at first base. He's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. And the pitch. Strike two. That one drifts inside. The one, two. And delivers outside. And that one upstairs. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Anthony Santander to bat next. Urquidy checks the runner, and he's back in standing. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way off. Anthony Santander, the next to hit for the Orioles. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Smoked on the ground a second. Tosses the first. Out number three. So two runs on three hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Astros five and the O's four. On the mound now, D.L. Hall. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. D.L. Hall. Jose Abreu getting ready to hit. Who's over two with a pair of strikeouts? Jose Abreu. 
The wide to kick the pitch. Paul, in his well. rookie season, he features a four seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he occasionally uses a curve. Next offering is fouled back. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Right That's two. in there. One and two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. McCormick up, in the box the now as he leaves that one up high. Activity in the bullpen. Jorge Lopez is up and throwing for Brandon High. Means getting cranked up as well. The 1 0. Slapped foul. The pitch. Yeah. On the inside corner for a strike. 1 2. Pitch is in the dirt, and it's two and two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. And I'm so glad I'm retired. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The wind of the pitch. And that one that's is ball. inside that's ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Hicks makes the grab, and that is the inning. And that is that. Nothing doing there for Houston as they hold on to a 5-4 lead. All set for the start of the inning at the play. Ryan O'Hearn. Leading off for the Orioles. The first baseman. Ryan O'Hearn. The right hander back to work. And ball one. Way high. Here's yeah. a strike, 95 of that one. one. And there's a foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. Swings and misses, struck him out. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just now does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And into the box for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. First pitch That's doesn't the find the zone. 1-0. That one missing it's inside. Not. Now three that and is, oh. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. There's a strike, three and one. Now a screamer into the outfield. That's out number two. 
Fell off the bat. It looked like they might get that tying run on base. Maybe even extra bases. No dice, though. A little unlucky on that one. Now here's Aaron Hicks. And that's outside. Oh. Pitch misses, no, two balls, ball. no strikes. The tying run at the plate. That one off the mark, and it's 3 0. Cedric Mullins waiting on deck for the Orioles. The wind of the pitch. And there's the automatic. 3 1. Three balls, two strikes, the count. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Looking to get the tying run on base. Bounce to third. Third out. Oh. Orioles held in check there. They trail it 5-4. Back here in Houston, the bottom of the seventh. Astros. And now the shortstop, Jeremy the shortstop. Pena. Jeremy Pena. Here comes a pitch. And that's Go outside. Outside. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. The wind to kick the 2 0. Lifted in the air, right field. Hicks is there for it. And there's one down. The center fielder, number 14, Mauricio. Mauricio Dubon up next for the Astros. In there for strike one. Fouled off down the right side. The 0-2. Got him looking. Clipped the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. Now that So the Houston lineup turns over. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. He's already homered here in this one. First offering, no, and it miss. just That's misses. One ball, no strike. In the air, left side. Hayes ranging after it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. One, two, three, go the Astros. They lead at 5 4. Phil Mata takes over on the mound. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Phil Mata. Well, one run game. Cedric Mullen. Now at the plate. The pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Activity in the Houston bullpen. Ryan Presley, the closer of the staff, is getting loose to finish this one off. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. Here's a high fly ball out to center. 
Makes the grab one away. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Ramon Urias, the next to hit for the Orioles. Good eye right there. Next pitch inside. And the count is 2-0. And that one fouled off. Gets the call. And that's strike two. And a pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Got him looking down on strikes, and he knew it. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Adam Frazier, the next to hit for the Orioles. Inside corner for a strike, and it's 0-1. That one missed. One, one. Just nope. missed. Two balls, one strike. Left hand hitter waits. Smash to the left side. Over to Abreu. Frazier retired. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Still down a run. It's 5 to 4. Welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. Now it's Alex Bregman. The third baseman, Alex Bregman. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Strike two. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. And one and one two. Ball, two strikes. And that's in two, the dirt. Two. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. And a pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Takes a half swing and grounds it to the left side. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. balls in a row I have no idea what that feels like but you got to love this battle just wondering who's oh. going to blink first and it's filled up and he gets Bregman and that's the first out well he throws him with the change up right there and I think he was so geared up for fastball once he recognized that it was off speed he just wasn't able to make an adjustment. So a really good strikeout, and pitcher just won the battle. Alvarez yeah. in the box now. No balls and a strike. 
If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. The 0-2. Bounce to the right side, and it's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after now being down in the count, up against please. it with two strikes right there. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding a hole in the defense. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. First pitch, no, just is. misses. And that's oh. doubted away. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Down the left field line, should be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Hayes to third, lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. One away, runners at second and third. And now the first baseman, Jose Abreu. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. This would be a big pickup if he can push a run across. Here's the 0-2. Got him. And now two gone. Big strikeout right there, and that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Infield was in, so now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. Bit of strategy here. They issue the intentional walk, and that'll set up a force play at any base. No, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. Diaz in the box lays off for ball one. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. That one pushed foul. count one and two clearly all in on the fastball right there but it was a changeup. bottom just fell out of it he's gonna have to make an adjustment and now the lefty fights that one away still one and two and yeah, there's a ball two outs Bases are full. Out there to center. And that'll fall for a base hit. One runs in. Now the second run is in. And they're up by three. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes. And he usually wins the battle. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, Jorge Lopez. He last pitched two days ago.
first and second two outs so next up for Houston Jeremy Pena that right. one's in there 0 and 1 0 and 1 first and second two down and yeah, that's outside one and one. Chris you look at it these are the spots where guys can come on pitch well instill some confidence in the manager and all of a sudden they're pitching higher leverage spots of the postseason well, in this final month I mean this is an audition period for the call-ups but it's also for that marginal reliever that was on the oh. roster throughout the season to maybe right, step dude. up and be on that playoff roster two outs and down on strikes they limit the damage here so two runs in the inning three hits no errors but two are left stranded ninth inning coming up it's the Astros seven and the O's four so here comes Ryan Presley to the mound. Definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base, and rarely gets in trouble because of free passes. And the batter will be the shortstop, Gunnar Henderson. And he deals. Presley, in his 10th season, he features a slider, a four-seamer, a slurb, and he works in a changeup. Now the 0-1. They say you win. Thank you. At the belt and fires. Out towards right center field. Dubon brings it in with a nice running grab. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Rutschman in the box with one away as he takes ball one. The 1-0. And that one clips the corner. And that drops in for a strike. Right handed reliever. And now it's filled up. You got a full count. Got him looking for the strikeout. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. So now here's the DH, Anthony Santander. Strike. Oh, one. Strike. That one to first and oh. foul ball. That one misses oh. and the count one and one two. Ball, two strike. Two down, nobody on. That one ripped right center field. Gone! Anthony Santander knocks one out. His 28th home run of the season, it's 7-5. Just relentless, this team will not quit. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. 
Base is empty with two away. Ryan O'Hearn will hit next. Yeehaw. That pitch in for a strike. Going one. Left-hand batter waits. And a foul ball. Down to their final strike. And downstairs. Oh. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Well, he does a nice job of coming in and getting the save. He made a mistake with the pitch, gave up the solo home run, but he maintained his focus to push through to the finish line. A 7-5 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.